Hey everybody, your old friend Walshie here with another quick lap steel lick in the tuning of Open G. Um, today's lick, we're just going to, very simple lick, uh, fun to play. This is also the kind of lick that could be played on a dobro. Um, maybe a Weisenborn, although we're in Open G and you don't want to tune the Weisenborn up too high. Um, but we'll cover, basically this will cover some string combinations in three different positions, beginning with the high octave and then to the, uh, the next position and then to the open position. Super simple. Uh, before we get to that, today's shout out, uh, and this is a self-indulgent shout out, uh, today's shout out goes to uh, Guitars for Kids. Um, this is a an organization that I'm president of, and we've uh, we're a registered non-for-profit uh, in Waterloo Region, Ontario. And what we do is we take in uh, all sorts of donated instruments in any shape, um, whether they be great condition or unplayable condition. We have a staff of luthiers that repairs them. The ones that are not repairable, we send those off to the uh, children who are budding young artists and they paint those guitars up for us. Um, so what we do is when we get these guitars repaired, we put them into the hands of children who could really use a leg up in their lives right now. Uh, tough times out there. A lot of these kids can't afford the, the gift of music. We're here to help that. Uh, so we've been, in, we've been in this since 2014. We've put about 750 guitars back into circulation that were donated to us. And the art guitars are all in our local businesses being displayed. So guitarsforkids.ca uh, and stay tuned for this quick little lesson. This lick today will be divided into two sections. Uh, we'll take a look at the first section uh, first, obviously. I'll just play it for you briefly. <laughs> So we start with the bar up at the 12th fret, um, which is the high octave of the, of the G. Uh, and for the first section, we'll use our thumb and first finger and, and second finger, uh, as we've been using in these past few lessons. And we just sort of do a, a forward roll up. Okay, so just sort of a slide in and a forward roll up. I should say the, the lick does start on the fifth string um, at the 12th fret, and we utilize the fifth, fourth, and third strings, okay? Now, when we get to the, th the second finger, which is on the third string, we're gonna slide down one fret. So we're just sort of sliding down, not even a full fret, just a partial fret, whatever your, whatever your ears think is the best for this. Okay, so just like that. One more time. Literally just, just almost a fret, maybe not quite. Doesn't have to be a fret. Now, the next part goes all the way to the uh, high string on the 12th fret and we do that standard old lick that we've been doing here for a long time Okay, so we just sort of use a second finger on the 12th fret slide down after uh, uh, simultaneously plucking And then use the index finger uh, on the second string at about the 11th fret, maybe the, maybe the 10th fret, wherever your happy zone is, back up to the 12th. Okay. That was a bit too low. That wasn't low enough. So anywhere in here. And then finish it with the thumb on the 12th fret G string. Sorry, I'm just a bit pitchy there. I'll have to look at the fretboard just for a second. There we go. One more time. Okay, so that's as simple as that. Uh, very easy. Uh, don't forget to use your vibrato. This is uh, what we're just listening for is pitch and vibrato.
And if you want to, you can leave some of those strings open. Uh, when they sound open like that, it sounds pretty cool too. It doesn't have to be single note stuff unless you really want to work on that spider technique. Okay, stay tuned. We'll tear apart the second half of this riff next. The last half of the riff starts down on the fifth fret now, uh, on the high string. What I'll do is I'll play it uh, quickly for you. We'll do that one more time. Okay, so let's tear it down. Now we're going to use a backward roll, starting at the fifth fret on the high string. So we pluck that one uh, with our second finger, follow it right at the fifth fret on the second string, and then quickly slide into the seventh fret third string. Okay. Now that one we do want to use the spider technique. Uh, we do want to make sure we mute the other strings because if we don't, it's going to take us to the five chord. We don't want to be there. See, it does that if we don't kill those strings. So, one more time. And then we go all the way down to the third fret. Now I'll play you that part quickly. Almost like a dobro lick, almost like a, a bluegrass turnaround. Okay, so we actually start on the third string with the bar at the second fret to slide into that third fret. And we're actually going just above the third fret, not quite all the way, but we want to find that happy tone, uh, the one that's right here. So it almost makes it major. Yeah, so we're just sort of above the third fret, not quite at the fourth fret. It's that gray area. Okay, so. Now with this one, I just use my index finger and pluck the open G string. And then I use my thumb to do the, so we're essentially still at the third fret on the fourth string, which would be D. Just using the thumb, you don't have to slide in anything. Your, your fret is, or excuse me, your bar is right there at the fret already. It does have to be over top of the third fret though. This time we want to be good with our pitch. See that right there, too high. And then just use our index finger to let it ring out. We just pluck that third string open and it rings out. Now let's just do the whole lick slowly. Let's play the whole lick once through and then we'll get down to that jam track. Okay, the jam track is going to be repetitive. It's a simple lick today, but it goes for a minute, but it just keeps going over and over and over. So stay tuned. When we come out of that one, you should have this lick down.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial today. I hope you will go check out guitarsforkids.ca. Um, and if you are enjoying these lessons, please consider subscribing. And if you really, really like them, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Dan Walsh. I've also, uh, for the rest of the year now, have opened up an online learning program, uh, Walshie's Academy of Strings. Uh, there'll be some info about that at the end of this video. In the meantime, keep on sliding, and I'll see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.